Welcome to Intro Digital Logic Part 9. We will again be using Tarnamaps to map a Boolean expression, but this time we'll be converting a sum of product to a product of sum and a product of sum to a sum of product. I am making the assumption that you have viewed my previous SOP and POS videos. If not, they will be linked in the comments and description. We have a SOP expression where a equals 1 and a with a line over top equals 0. Converting these values to binary, we have the displayed digits. Now to get these values into the Carnot map, we can see that the rows are all representative of all combinations of A and B variable, and the columns represent all values of C variable. So to plot the first point, we have that A equals 0 and B equals 0, which is the first row, and C equals 0, which is the first column. So we can place a 1 in the first row, first column. Completing this for the rest of the values, we get the displayed Tarna map. Now to get the equivalent product of sum expression, we can place zeros in all open cells in the Carnot map that we just found. Recall that for a product of sum expression, a variable is equal to zero and a variable with a line over top is equal to one. Using this, we can convert to a POS expression. We get the displayed product of sum expression that is equivalent to the sum of product expression. If we start off with the product of sum expression, we complete the same process but place ones where there are not zeros in the Carnot map. Then we can convert this into a sum of product expression. The SOP and POS expression we found are equivalent. To show this, we can use our knowledge of expression reduction and see that both of these expressions are equal to a not b when reduced. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.